What's up, guys? <clears throat> it's your boy Sunrise the Divine. I'm back at you again with another video. In this video, we're going to re be reviewing. I'm going to be reviewing a fast that I'm currently on. Currently, I'm on a 90 day fast and I'm at day 40 right now. And so I said, since I'm 40 days in, I'm going to do a review because day 40 was my hitting a 40 hitting 40 days was my goal for a while. And the last major fast I did, I hit 32 days. And now I'm at day 40. 50 more days to go. But let's just hop right into it. So very transformative transformative this fast has been very transformative. A lot of healing, a lot of purging of emotions, of habits, a lot of things coming to the surface, a lot of um, internal stuff. When you start to deal with cutting out desires and and uh, sitting with yourself, the things that you don't want to deal with that you cover up with the desires, such as like just anything you know what i mean we eat to cover a lot of emotions you know and when you don't chew and you're like with yourself a lot and you know as you're going through this process a lot of things comes to the surface at a more rapid pace than usual you know so you have to do a lot of healing it requires a lot of rest a lot of, a lot of relaxation but actually I've been resting a lot during this past 40 days, but I've also been working out because a little backstory with me is I've been practicing fasting since like 2016. Right now in this video is currently 2019. So I've had about three years of practice and fasting and I've taken it, I've taken it step by step each time. You know, I started off slow with a couple hours, then, you know, a half day, then a day, then, you know, this is all over time. So one thing I will say to disclaim this video for a disclaimer in this video, you can for sure do anything you put your mind to it if you have your willpower strong, you know what I mean? But it took me a while to build up to be able to get to 40 days, you know? This isn't just something I'm like, I got granted or whatever. It took a lot of different fast and yeah, damn near three years for me to be able to achieve a 40 day fast, you know? So, I only said that because a lot of people sometimes get discouraged when they hear about how long I've been fasting because people constantly say, well, I couldn't do that. Well, I can't do that. And it's like, well, you can. You just got to work towards it step by step. You know what I mean? You got to be able to accept your progress and accept where you're at. You know what I mean? So, let's get into this review. Probably one of the easiest fasts starting off. The first two weeks starting off were probably the easiest introductions to fasting that I've ever had. You know what I mean? Like all my fasts usually are pretty tough in the beginning because the desire is really strong to eat because you have a lot of momentum around eating. But this fast was a lot different, you know. Now, what I do during my fast, there's a lot of different fasts. This fast is a liquid fast. So I only consume liquids such as water, tea, soup, juice, smoothies. That's about it. And sometimes we get a little pasty. I'm actually one to talk about that. So just so I can be all the way honest with myself, this first 40 days, the last couple weeks, I, I was really thinking, and I'm not really satisfied with the 40 days because there were parts and moments where it got a little pasty. You know what I mean? You know, you pushing the border, you know, borderline eating. You know what I mean? Like, what I mean by pasty is like pasty. You know, you get a little yam puree. You know what I mean? That's not all the way liquid. You know what I mean? Getting a little little mashed potatoes, you know, trying to just make an excuse when times is tough, you know, that's, 
That's not all the way liquid. That's, you know, you eating, you know? It's not potato soup. You ain't make potato soup, you know? A little liquid, a little peanut butter, you know? It's like, that's just being honest with myself. I'm not really satisfied with this 40 days, to be honest, because there were times when I've consumed some of that, you know? But, nonetheless, I haven't really had any solid foods other than that pasty shit. So, that's just my disclaimer. Some people would be like, well, you didn't do 40 day fast. Oh, well, well, oh, well, I'm here, I'm now, you know, I'm claiming it, claiming my 40 days. But, the goal is 90, and so for this next 50 days, I'm looking to turn up the pressure. You feel me? No. Let me go back. Let me go back before we talk about the future. So, this 40 days, it really makes you look at yourself. There's a lot of things that come up when your body or your desire body wants to do something and you're refusing it. To, you're refusing that desire, you know, uh, it gets tough. But the toughness and the pressure and the resistance that you feel on the inside, it strengthens your soul. And not only that, the fast has made me feel so much lighter. Like, my stomach feels so good. Like, because I've been practicing of uh, the fast, practicing fasting for three years, you know, I don't really get hungry when I'm not fasting. You know, when I'm not fasting and I eat, it's just mainly for taste. You know, I don't get hungry at all. And then I get upset. Not upset, but I, I get a little irritable when there's food in my stomach. Like, if I just had a meal. I want to poop it out because my stomach is like permanently used to being empty now. And that's only increased during this past 40 days. You know, it's gotten to the point where even the smoothies are getting too thick. You know, the smoothies are getting too thick for me. And um, I felt so light during this fast. You know, I feel really light, like light as in a sense of not dense, no mass, you know. A good thing about this fast, I will say, is I didn't lose really much weight. Most fast, when I first started, it took me, I, I would lose some, at least five pounds, you know, because you're not eating. But I think because since I've been practicing fasting for so long, my body, you know, your cells regenerate every couple months or whatever, and my body has adapted to this lifestyle of not really consuming much. Now, along with this, I have still been working out, I have still been running, I've still been working, I've still been giving massages, you know what I mean? I'm a massage therapist, and um, I've still been like actively participating in society, you know? When times get tough, you know, there are times where you feel weak during the fast, there are times where you feel fatigued, where you feel tired, you just need more and more rest, and I have taken those times to rest. It's very important to rest on your fast because your body is regenerating and healing. The 40-day fast review is feeling good. It's feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the rest of the year. I don't, you know, and I, 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 I'm feeling like the rest of the year. I'm probably not even gonna eat, but that's how I always feel during the fast. You know, I get in the fast and I'm like, man, I ain't never gonna eat again. I feel good. But then once your fast is over, you're like, nah, I think I'm a munch or something. <laughs> but anyways, to talk about this next 50 days, I'm turning up the pressure, turning up the intensity level, turning up the growth. You feel me? We're drinking nothing but juices, teas, water, soups. And dry fasting. I'm going to incorporate dry fasting days in this 90. Now, I'm thinking about cutting out the smoothies for at least 20 to 30 days. Because the smoothies are getting a bit thick. They're getting a bit too heavy. I'm starting to feel bloated now when I drink smoothies. It's been so long. Like, the smoothies are just getting thick. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't like the feeling of my stomach feeling bloated, you know? I feel like the whole purpose of the fast is so your stomach doesn't feel that. So I'm thinking about cutting out the smoothies for a little while at least. And um, the cold pressed juices though, when you don't have nothing in your body and you drink that cold pressed juice and like a wheatgrass shot or like some healthy shots, some organic juice, 
You know, if you're not familiar with cold pressed juices, it's literally fruits being put in a juicer. So it's literally 100% fruit, just juiced. It ain't none of that artificial sugar type, no Hawaiian punch. We ain't talking about no Sunny D. We ain't talking about none of that. We talking about some real legit juice. When you drink that and you are fasting, you literally feel like you're you're a superhuman. Like your your body smiles straight up. And so I'm thinking about a whole bunch of different cold pressed juice. I'm thinking about investing in a juicer because I'm spending all this money every day getting a juice. You know what I mean? And um, so the next 50 days, we're going to incorporate a lot of dry fasting, a lot more meditation. You know, when you meditate and you start to do self-care in your fasting, you, it's unbelievable. You get so, I'll say this. You start to get so disconnected from, I don't want to say disconnected, but I'll say you start to get, it appears to be, It. I'll say disconnected. You start to get so disconnected from regular society, you know what I mean? Because it's like, everything we do revolves around eating, you know? People are like, oh, you want to go out to eat to talk, you want to go have a meeting at lunch, you know, da 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 And so like, as you start to fast and you start to understand your body doesn't need to eat and you start to have different realizations that um, rise because of just the transformation of your body, you start to feel such like an alien. You know what I mean? And that's okay. That is okay. We do not need to eat as much as we do and we do not need to sleep as much as we do. That's another thing about the fast. You get a lot of energy and I've barely slept. And, yeah, you know, I can go to bed at 2 in the morning and wake up at 6. Wake up at 5, my body naturally waking up, and I'm up. So it's like learning how to use these extra hours of the day productively. You know what I mean? (sighs) The past two weeks, actually of the 40 day fast, I've been emotionally purging and transmuting a lot. I felt like I can't say this cause I'm a man and don't trip, but it's, you know, it felt like you're a pregnant woman, how moody you are. Like personally, that's how moody I've been moody, like ups and downs for no reason. I'm blessed. You know what I mean? I got every, I'm living my dream for real, literally in the most literal sense. I'm living my dream. So I know, and I recognize that it's just emotional trauma from the past and past lives coming up. But I've been purging a lot emotionally these past two weeks. Moody. Shout out to my homie. Shout out to my queen for always holding space for me. You know, it's good to have people holding space. And actually, my homie Mango, um, he's doing this fast with me, too. So he's on day 42. So it's good to have a little buddy. You know what I mean? When you fast, you know, it makes you anything you do with somebody, you know, it pushes you to go harder. And so it's good that I have a friend who we talk about the fast. You know, we go make some soups together. We go make some smoothies. You know what I mean? It's just good to have a buddy. But I've been emotionally purging the last two weeks a lot, a lot, a lot. And it feels deep. I'm a Scorpio, so y'all know how intense we are. And it feels very, very intense. And yeah, so next 50 days, we're going to go harder. I'm actually going to start working out harder because I believe, I'll finish that, we'll go back to that later. We're going to go harder and we're going to ingest, I'm feeling, you know what I've been feeling in my heart? A lot more coconut water. So I'm thinking this next 50 days, I'm going to consume a lot more coconut water and I have a friend who has the Kagan water machine. Kagan water, a lot of water, you know? Even more water than juices. You know, that's where we're going for this 90 days. And then we're going to do dry fast. You know, I did I did dry fast a couple times. And um, it's actually pretty much, I think a dry fast is easier than a liquid fast. You know what I mean? Because when you don't give the desire nothing, the desire to consume, when you don't give it anything, it kind of goes to sleep. It kind of lays dormant. That desire lays dormant. But when you give it a little bit of something, it wants more. As you all know, if you always, you know, you get full, you hungry, you want more. You know what I mean? That's just a desire body. That's just the consumerism at its best, how we've been raised in this society. Now, long-term future goals for myself, 
I personally believe we don't have to eat at all. We can get sun. We can get energy straight from the sun like plants do. So my whole end goal is to not really eat at all unless I want to in a couple years. You know, I want to I want to eliminate the habit of just eating every day. You know, and so I do these fasts and I practice longer and longer fast for that to build up to being able to live that type of lifestyle. And I know it's possible. I don't want to debate you. If you believe it's not, okay, then it's not. It's your reality, fam. But for me, I'm not going to live. I mean, I'm not going to eat for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? I'm going to drink a lot of juice and get this energy straight from the sun. You feel me? Because when your body transmutes and raises its vibration and frequency, you can get energy straight from the sun. That's facts. <laughs> also, I'm thinking about a whole bunch of this stuff for the future. You know, I start to feel like, this is getting off topic. The fast is great. The fast is still going. If you got a soup for your boy, make sure it's vegan. Send it my way. If you got a smoothie for your boy, make sure it's vegan. Send it my way. If you got some cold pressed juice, if you got a juicer and you don't want it, send it my way. Send it my way. If you got some, if you got a Kagan water machine, one of my homies do. I'm gonna hit him up right now. If you watching this, you know who you is. Not right now, I ain't going to hit you up, but I'll hit you up in a little bit. That's procrastination. <laughs> but if you got a cake and water machine you don't need, send it my way. I'm calling it in. I'm calling in the blessings. Oh, that's one thing I will say. The manifestation has been on point since the fast. You know what I mean? On point. <sighs> Let me show y'all something. Y'all think I'm playing. You know what this is? This is a orange, pineapple, apple, cold pressed juice. That's 32 ounces. You feel me? Mm. I got the almond milk in the fridge too, but you don't need to see that. I ain't got to prove nothing. I hear my Kevin Gates voice, big brother. I ain't got to prove nothing to you, big brother. Anyways. Yeah, I'm calling in all the blessings. We're looking to build. What's going up? We got some more events this year. We got Trap Chi. I'm bringing, I'm finalizing Trap Chi this year. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. I promise myself. Here's my everyday checklist. You feel me? This is my fast checklist. I've been looking at it every day. You see all these checks? This is day 40 right here. This is where we at. I completed this. It feels good. When I was right here and I had this first check on day one, I was, I was nervous. I didn't know I could. Now we done with 40 days. 50 more to go. If you want to ask questions about a fast, don't hesitate to hit me up. If you feel like fasting and you want some information, also hit up Google and YouTube. There's a bunch of our brothers and sisters out here who do this. And you can join Facebook groups too. There's fast Facebook groups and it feels good to be in a community online and have people talking about this because a lot of times during fast you'll have people telling you oh don't do that you'll die you need your bread. you need your protein you need your meal. you know it's just society you know they're just coming from a place of love but it can affect your fast oh yeah one last thing if you're going to fast don't talk about the fast unless you got strong willpower because people will give you well, people will project their fears on you and sometimes it could penetrate you and you might doubt yourself and when you doubt yourself that's when the fast gets hard anyways we're gonna keep it like that i love y'all i'm feeling good it's february 9th 2019 day 40 sunrise the divine liquid fast April 1st is the day of my 90, 90th day. I might do a review at 60 days and 90 days. So, look forward to it. Peace and love, family. Wait for it. Hold on. Bow.